You're watching Life on Video. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Life on Video. Today, we're back in Phoenix, Arizona at the Arizona Science Museum. Let's check it out. Though you can purchase your tickets online, you don't necessarily have to. You can come in and check in and pay here. Admission is <clears throat> roughly $19.95 per adult and $14.95 for kids. And they do have extra exhibits that you can purchase and do like a planetarium. They also have live exhibits. They have a couple other things too you can do which are pretty cool. But they do cost extra in the realm of like eight, nine dollars per person. We're gonna head out now to pop the science of bubbles. And it's just a little outdoor area where they have lots of different bubble exhibits that you can do. And you just kind of come out and try to create bubbles. This area is actually really nice too because it's like there's no wind, there's no nothing, so you're getting some pretty massive bubbles out of this place. You gotta go fast. Up of a actual airplane here. It's kind of cool. Seats, controls, and everything. It's pretty fun. And this is right outside of the paper airplane room where we were just trying to fly our paper airplanes. The nice thing is, even with all the <clears throat> excuse me, all the hands-on stuff they have here, they do have sanitizer, sanitizing wipes that you can use to wipe everything down. So, still can be you know safe and enjoy the museum. They have a bike that you can ride on a tightrope up here, but judging by what's sitting on the bike right now, <laughs> this is not an exhibit open for use right now. Unfortunately, these are really fun. And that's actually right outside of this big concrete wall here, which is actually the planetarium that they have inside here. It does cost extra, but it's really awesome, man. It's really big, so I think it'd be a fun time. We've not been in the planetarium, but would love to one day when the kids are a little bit older. This is that tight rope that you can ride on the second floor. Normally people would load up here and they have safety harnesses and everything like that, but you know, based on science, laws of physics and the counterweight down here, that's how they ensure you're not gonna fall off, but they still do use safety precautions. Just closed right now. They have this musical dinosaur right here, and you actually just come by. And then it plays sounds as you hit it. <laughs> they actually call this the Pianosaurus. Awesome. Now we're gonna head into the Freeman Gallery. Lots of smaller exhibits for the kids to play with. Lots of fun stuff in here. Really good. So, though it is a science museum, it is really geared towards children, if you will. And I'm telling you, this is way better than our science museum in Tucson. There's so much more to do here. So many more activities for the kids. Really, really cool. Definitely spending some time in here for sure. Really cool little submarine that they have here. That the kids can go in and sit. It's got some gauges got a screen that you can do some exploration on. And then of course you have your classic Lego wall. Okay, come over here, there's tons of Legos right here, and you can just build away like we're doing right here. This exhibit is honestly really, really cool. It's called Watershed, and what it is is basically 
So it's about finding small watershed areas. So you get a controller up here that you can move the shower head around and then release water and look at all the different areas where the water comes down. So it finds all like the cracks and crevices. So you can see what it looks like when a rain cloud hits the mountains and how it comes down. This is for storm drains. So basically it shows you how water would travel down if you built a drain like this, all the different areas it can come out of and go through. And you got a lot of different ways you can change the angles. And change the direction of how things come down. <laughs> More than anything, I really like the lighting in here. It's like blue and white. It's got these ocean vibes and feels. It's really dark. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is a fun like, you know, almost like some sensory deprivation when you come in here just because it's so chilled out on the lighting. They actually have out here, you know, a stage where you can see different science shows that they have going on. We just missed one. The next one's at 1220, which isn't too far from now, but we did just miss the last one. And then of course, as usual, your typical science museum. Everything's got a button. Everything's got a screen. Everything talks. Everything lights up. I mean, it's just a kid's safe haven in here with everything. Buttons, knobs, sounds. Gotta love it. We got this exhibit. The faster you get the bite going, the higher you get the soccer ball. Not too bad. And right now, we're going into a stomach. <laughs> Through the stomach and then <laughs> down the digestive tube. Go, baby. I can't. You can. Go. Just slide. Slide, baby. Go. I'll see you on the other side. Then out the digestive tube. Come here, Kiwi. And there she is. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Oh, it's funny. It has these little <laughs> sensors, and every time you cross it, it farts or bubbles or something that your stomach would do. Hilarious. They have a nose here. You basically throw these foam balls in. The nostril is kind of like boogers. They just run back out. <laughs> it sneezes on you. <laughs> they have these sneezing boxes here and when you open it, <laughs> it literally pops a puff of air right in your face as if he sneezed on you. That's genius. They have one for kids too. This machine right here simulates the separation of platelets from your blood. So it spins it and then up here at the top, you can see that it actually separates it all out from the red blood cells and your platelets. And if you've ever given platelets before, which I've given platelets before, it's pretty interesting because when they pull it out and they circulate it through the machines to separate the platelets out, they put the rest of the blood back into your body and it becomes room temperature. So it's actually cold when it comes back in or colder when it comes back in and it's a, it's a weird experience. It's a unique feeling, honestly, when it comes back in, but it's for a good cause. We're going into a gallery on the second floor. This seems to be a lot more physics-based uh, exhibits in here. So you have things like inertia, Water refractions. Lots of cool things in here. And they do have over here like another little stage area or a desk where they'll have people come in here and just give science tips and stuff like that. Got these fun floating ball table.
They also have these seats that you can sit on and pull yourself up. They go from hard to harder to hardest. It obviously just has to do with the amount of pulleys and fulcrums that you have connected. So your hard one is gonna have the most, then it just decreases as you go into the hardest ones. Oh my gosh, she's about to be so dizzy when she gets off. Do it, go around. <laughs> All right, stand up. Are you having trouble? All right, hop off. Grayson wanted to challenge me at pulling this. <laughs> no dice. Sure, both of you, why don't you, both of you try. Go. Now, the difference of this one is obviously where you're pulling from. This one, this side's pulling from the top. The other side is pulling lower. So this side you have the advantage because you have the leverage on this side because you're pulling from the top. It's a lot harder on the other side. But Braxton thinks he can do it. And literally just pulling with one hand is just is that easy. Now we're entering the digital world. Got lots of odd exploration in here. Space, lots of building. We're entering our final exhibit, Forces of Nature. This is actually really cool too. They've got an immersion theater is what it's called right here. So you basically stand in the center and it'll go through a bunch of different elements of weather and it'll give you those experiences while you're inside of that circle. Probably one of my top science subjects, weather, you know, being from the Midwest where Tornadoes are common, floods are common. Different, different types of weather are common out there. And it's definitely one of my favorite subjects. It's really cool. They're able to project onto this map, you know, and keep the terrain and the depth to it, that's nice. And over here they have a smoke ring circle generator but your big aspect in here is this immersion theater we're gonna go check it out we're currently standing inside the immersion theater and in the immersion theater you will get wet you will experience heat you will experience wind and you will experience loud noises So basically it goes through like all the seasons, all the different climates and temperaments of the different areas of the world. And it kind of gives you a full sensory experience in here uh, with water, wind, heat, and uh, loud noises. Really, really cool. And that's gonna do it from the Arizona Science Center. We had a blast looking at the ocean exhibits, the physics exhibit, the digital exhibit, and the, the forces of nature exhibit, which was by far my favorite. Um, this place is great. If you have kids, it is more geared towards children. So for adults, it's fun to come through, but it's definitely more geared towards children. The kids had a blast. We spent about two hours inside. And like I said, it's free for military, about $20 for adults, $14, $15 for kids if you're not military. And it was a blast. Also for military, you do have to come at a specific time. It's after Armed Forces Day, between Armed Forces Day and I believe it's Labor Day. It is free for military, so we had a blast. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more content here on Life on Video. Later.